hello welcome to everyone in this video this is the lecture number two on digital electronics this is the uh, part for the semester six of bsc physics honors right today i want to discuss about the number system that is the binary number system decimal to binary binary to decimal conversation then bcd binary conversion decimal binary converted decimal uh, octal and hexadecimal number then signed and unsigned number representation of binary number binary system representation of negative number first complement and the second complement method of subtraction so this is the total part we want to discuss in this video you can say this is the syllabus for the semester 6 for bsc physics honors uh, this part that is the integrated circuit we discussed in the previous lecture in lecture number one in this part we want to discuss this is this is done in lecture number one and this is lecture number two in this part we want to discuss uh, cover up this portion that is the number system this portion we want to discuss uh, cover up in this <coughs> uh, lecture okay so let's start and this is the uh, in, in the upcoming session we will be discuss these things also okay so let's start what do you mean by binary number actually in number system we use that is the 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 you can see this is the 10 number and this that's why i call this is the decimal number system so any number can be represented by this 10 number okay so suppose that 1 2 9 7 like that so all the number in the decimal system can be represented using these 10 numbers and that's why <coughs> we use the this is the base as 10 this due to decimal number okay so what do you mean by binary number actually this binary number used in our integrated circuit or the computers <coughs> this use as actually binary number binary means two so only 0 and 1 0 and 1 used to <coughs> represent any number 0 and 1 used to represent any number okay so you just compare that is uh, our uh, by decimal system that is 0 then 1 then 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then then again 0 and this 0 actually represent by 1 so here this is actually 0 this is actually 0 right so in the similar fashion you can change if this is in decimal this is in decimal in the similar th fashion in the binary system where only 0 and 1 is the number so first number is 0 and this is 1 then then there is no number so again 0 so then then this 0 where this 0 is becomes 1 right again this 0 becomes 1 and this is 1 then what happened this 0 this 0 and this is 1 actually there is a 0 also so like that okay so by this process this system actually progress in the binary number system there is only two number 0 and 1 in the decimal there is 10 number 0 to 9 clear now convert this decimal to binary and binary to decimal at the first we change decimal decimal number to binary number at first we change decimal number to binary number we take an example decimal number uh, suppose 25 point uh, 1 to 5 or 6 to 5 25.625 in the decimal system we need to change into the binary system okay so uh, before the point that is 25 you divided by 2 that is 12 is 24 remain, remaining is 1 then 2 6 remaining is 0 then 2 then 2 that is 3 remaining is 0 then 2 3 is 1 remaining is 1 and 2 is 0 that is 1 so this 25 in the binary system that is 1 1 0 0 1 in the point after point that is point 6 to 5 multiplied by 2 you will be get 1.250 so this one is known as the 
carry. This one is known as the carry. The remaining that is 0.250 into 2 is gives you 0 0.500. This is 1. Sorry, this is 0. Again, 0 0.500 into 2 gives you 1.000. So, all thing is 0. So, this is 1. This is written in the downward and this is forward. So, the final answer that is 25.625 in the decimal converted into binary as like that. That is 11001.1012. Right? So, I think you clear about decimal to binary system. As your homework, you can uh, try yourself. That is the 91 point. Uh, zero. 1, 2, 5 in the decimal converted into binary. Just your homework. Okay. So, next is this is decimal to binary. Now, you can uh, in the reverse that is binary change the binary number to decimal number. Binary number to decimal number. How? Take an example. Suppose this is a binary number need to change into the decimal number okay so for that you just multiply this this number is 2 to the power 0 this is 2 to the power 1 this multiply 2 to the power 2 this multiply 2 to the power 3 and this is multiply 2 to the power minus 1 this is multiply 2 to the power minus 2 this is multiply 2 to the power minus 3 and this is multiplied by 2 to the power minus 4 so, you can write that is 1 into 2 to the power 3 plus 0 into 2 to the power 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power 1 plus 1 into 2 to the power 0. Then plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 1 plus 0 into 2 to the power minus 2 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 3 plus 1 into 2 to the power minus 4. So, what is the value of 2 to the power 3? That is 8. This is 0 into something is 0. This is 2. This is 2 to the 0 is 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 0 0.5 this is 0 this is 1 by 8 that is 0 0.125 and this is 0 0.0625 so what is the sum that is 311 point that is 5 and 257 uh, 6 to 8 1 okay so this will be the answer so i think clear from the conversation binary to decimal so we change decimal to binary and then binary to decimal okay now what do you mean by bcd binary coded decimal what do you mean by bcd suppose you have uh, a decimal number decimal number uh, suppose you have a decimal number uh, like that 7 to 5 okay if you change into the BCD you need to change every every <coughs> decimal number into binary number suppose such as 7 that is 2 3 6 1 2 1 1 2 0 1 triple one you need to replace into four digit that is one 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 and the left is one similarly for two two is one zero two zero one that is one zero but before that you need to replace two zero five two two the four one two two one zero two zero one so 101 and plus 1. So this actually the BCD. I think clear. We actually the BCD. So in the four, <coughs> four digit format, you change the uh, decimal number into BCD, binary coded decimal number. Clear? Next thing is the octal and hexadecimal. So already we uh, was the two number system that is decimal decimal means 10 and binary 
binary means 2 and octal octal means 8 and hexadecimal means 16 okay so octal means there is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 hexadecimal means 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and then <coughs> a a is equivalent to 10 b equivalent to 11 c d e f that is 12 13 14 and this is 15 so these are the 16 <coughs> representation in the hexadecimal system and in the octal system okay so for any just convert that is the uh, decimal decimal to octal for example decimal to octal suppose you have a 5 3 2 is 10 and you need to convert it into octal so in binary case you divide it by 2 similarly you here also I just taken as a point like 1 to 5 okay so similar to binary you need to multiply it by 8 here also so uh, 5 3 2 divided by 8 you will be obtained uh, that is 8 5 40 6 6 uh, 5 3 2 divided by 8 48 and this is 2 3 5 50 to 52 and again 6 48 and this is 4 right so remainder is 4 and this is 66 if it again divided by 8 it will be of 10 that is 8 8 64 and this is 2 and 8 0 this is uh, sorry 1 0 and this is 8 0 that is 1 so in the in the this portion gives you this portion gives you uh, 1 0 2 4 right in the point you can write uh, that is 0 0.125 multiplied by 8 will be obtained uh, uh, 4 and 8 uh, 8 to the uh, 0 to uh, 1.0 like that so this gives you 1 so finally finally you will be obtained finally you will be obtained this one okay so this is the conversation from decimal to octal now change the octal to decimal octal to decimal system octal to decimal system right so taken uh, uh, this one just reverse one uh, you need to change into decimal so uh, is this multiply 10 to the power sorry 8 to the power 0, 8 to the power 1, 8 to the power 2, and 8 to the power 3. 8 to the power 3 means, 8 to the power 3 means, at, at 64 into 8, 4, 3, 2, 6, at 51. 5, 1, 2, plus, this is 0, this is 8 to 16, plus 4. So this gives you 20 so 32 okay and this gives you minus 1 so this is 1 by 8 1 by 8 means 0 0.125 so this gives you 532.125 so just like a binary instance of 2 the, here you apply the 8 so this is this is a conversation from decimal to octal and octal to 
decimal. Octal means there is uh, 8 number 0 to 7. Now comes into the hexadecimal. 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 Okay. Hexadecimal means 16. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then A, B, C, D, E, F. Right? So, any, 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 any decimal number, suppose 5, 3, 2, point two. 1 to 5 or 0 0.625 like that you need to change into hexadecimal number so similar process you just divided by 16 if you divide it sorry in this format write down 5 3 2 5 3 2 divided by 16 you will be obtained 30, 33 into 33 into 16 gives you 5 to 8 5 to 8 that is 4 <coughs> that is 33 uh, solo to the 32 that is 1 solo to the 32 that is 1 and 16 1 is 0 so this is gives you sorry 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 this is 2 214 that is 214 point if you multiply it point zero six two five into 16 you will be get 1 so this gives you 1 so this is in terms of hexadecimal number okay if you take like uh, 17 okay okay 40 uh, 43 Solo to the 32, 32, 3, 2, that is 11. 11 means this is 10, this is B. So this becomes B. So just uh, write down that is 2B. Okay. So 43 in decimal system, if you change in the hexadecimal system, this gives you 2B. Interesting. If you change uh, in the reverse format, if you change this in the reverse format, that is the hexadecimal to the decimal. If you change the hexadecimal, hexadecimal to decimal. Suppose C A D cat into 16 that is sorry 16 that is hexadecimal you need to change into decimal part so this gives you uh, multiplied 6 to the into a 0 this is 16 to the power 1 this is 16 to the power 2 and c c means uh, 11 12, this is 11 this is 12 this is 13 this is 14 okay so uh, c means 12 into 16 square plus a means 10 into 16 plus D means 13 into 16 to the power 0. So this gives you 12 into multiplied 16 square plus 10 into 1 6 plus 13 into 16 to the power 0. This gives you 3 2 4 5. So this in the decimal system. So you just change the hexadecimal to decimal system and decimal to hexadecimal system in this process okay so you clear about the octal system hexadecimal system and conversation from decimal to octal octal to decimal in the reverse that is this is 
this uh, change is from decimal to this is change from decimal to hexadecimal this is change from hex decimal to hexadecimal hexa decimal okay this change from uh, decimal to hexadecimal and then hexadecimal to decimal okay now interesting things is the conversation from uh, octal to octal to binary octal to binary system for example suppose you have two three seven point six two six four six four this is in octal you need to change in binary system how one process you can change for it from octal to decimal then convert it into binary but directly you can change octal to binary how change individually in binary into three digit seven 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 means two two three one two one one two zero one so this is one 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 what about three two was a one two zero one that is one one but you change into three digit zero one one then about two what is two that is two one zero two zero one so this is one zero and make into three digits so this is all the three and six four what about six that is two three one two one one two zero one okay i think this is zero so this becomes one one zero what about four that is two two za zero two two zero two zero one one zero zero one zero zero so this gives you actual binary conversation from octal in the reverse if you change the binary to octal what about suppose this is one zero one 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 zero one one zero one one so you uh, take three digit like that okay so this gives you that is one two four four one five that is one two four one two three that is one one thirty five and this is one g uh, one two four that is one two four five uh, and this gives you zero zero one that is that is zero zero one means one two four so this gives you the octal number clear so you can change from octal to binary so there are four number system actually we used uh, first one is the decimal which is zero to nine then binary zero one then octal that is zero to seven and then hexadecimal that is zero to nine plus a b c d e f okay so any uh, uh, number system to another number system you can change easily okay so next thing is the hexadecimal to hexadecimal to binary okay next thing is the hexadecimal to binary system hexadecimal to binary system take an example suppose cad this is an hexadecimal system you need to change in binary system so d means we just remind that is a b c this is 10 11 12 13 so d means 13 a means 10 c means 12 okay so 12 change to 6 0 2 3 0 2 1 1 2 0 1 so this is 1 0 0 what about 10 10 is 2, 5 is 0, 2, 2 is 4, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2, 0, 1. That is 1, 0, 1, 0. And what about 13? 2, 6, 1, 
1 so you can write down like that that is 1 1 0 0 and then 1 0 1 0 and then 1 1 0 1 so this is the <coughs> binary conversation in, in in octal there you take 3 and is hexadecimal there is 4 suppose you have like that 1 1 0 1 one one zero one one like that so if you take four digit like that okay four digit so there is three zero so this is one two this is one one sorry one two four eight so eight four so twelve uh, thirteen uh, one this is also 13 so 13 means d d point 1 0 this is again 13 d 1 0 1 2 4 8 8 so this gives you like that uh, 16 so this is binary to binary to hexadecimal hexadecimal so I think clear about this conversation binary to hexadecimal clear go to the next point that is signed and unsigned number representation of binary and representation of negative number actually in uh, sign that means you have a binary number suppose 11.101 and if you take this positive and negative so this is called signed signed representation okay and another representation also used that is the plus used for zero and negative used as one so uh, one uh, sign is uh, oh, first first digit actually represent the sign uh, if you take this as the zero one one point zero actually if you such that you limit the how many numbers actually used uh, then you can easily put the sign symbol like that okay so this is for negative and this is for positive like that okay so this is i think that's not important is more than that uh, uh, next thing is the binary addition multiplication etc etc for that you just remember that is 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 is 1 one plus one one plus one is two two means two means you just taking two one zero two zero one that is one zero what about one plus one plus one that is one zero plus one that is one one okay so i think clear now uh, take some example that is one zero one one point one one zero one and this is one one zero one point one zero one one if you just add that is one 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 zero that is zero one 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 zero zero one 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 zero zero one triple one means one 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 triple one means one 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 means one zero one 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 means one zero one triple one 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 so this is the answer okay binary addition what about multiplication take an example one zero one point one zero one multiplied by one point one one so just think one zero one one zero one take an left okay so one zero one one zero one one zero one one zero one so one 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 means one zero that is again one triple one means one 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 triple one means one 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 triple one means one 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 double one means one zero one double one means one zero one and the number two three five four five so this will be the answer of this multiplication okay so i think clear about the binary addition and multiplication simple for that you just remember these things next things is the subtraction 
is uh, the subtraction is very important in the binary system and for that you need to know about the complement listen carefully about the complement method okay <coughs> First complement method. First, or you just written as first complement method. Take an example. Take any example. Sorry. Take any example. One. One zero one one zero one one zero one okay one one zero one one zero or like that okay you need to subtract this one for that you must uh, equal equal these two things like that one one zero one one zero one and this is one one you must put in zero here and they are also one one zero here okay now change take the first complement first complement first complement means zero one and one zero one zero becomes one first complement means zero becomes one and one becomes zero that is one one zero 1.101 first complement of this one so this becomes 1 this is 0 0 this is 1 this is 0 0 this is 1 and then add you know addition is more easier than subtraction so 1 1 gives you 1 0 this 1 here this 1 here point 1 1 becomes 1 0 1 here 1 here no one. okay so there is a extra carry so this added here so you will give one 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 point zero one one so this is the actually the answer of this subtraction if you reverse this one that is one one zero one one and minus one one zero one one zero one so at first you equal these two things and first complement here so this gives you 0 1 0 1 1 0 <laughs> and this gives you 0 this is 1 this is 0 and this is 0 1 0 0 and if you added these two things you will give 0 this is 1 1 means 0 1 1 1 means 0 1 one 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 means zero one 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 means zero one so there is no carry no carry if there is no carry you change into the first complement you change into first complement okay so this gives you one 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 point zero one one zero and the negative sign this will be the answer okay and this will obvious you know if you 5 minus 4 is 1 then 4 minus 5 is minus 1 right so this will be the correct and you think you understand when there is a carry you add up in the last digit uh, list um, significant digit and if there is no carry you just taking the first complement and with a negative sign this is the first complement method of subtraction. Next is the second complement method. Second complement <coughs> method. Okay. For that you need to know about the second complement. Second complement. Second complement means second complement means first complement first complement plus one how suppose one zero one one if you take the first complement 
if you take first complement what a you will obtain uh, 0 1 0 0 okay and add 1 so this gives you 0 1 0 1 okay so this is the second complement of this one second complement so you can just remember these things like way from the right hand side uh, at the first one is written then all change here like that suppose you have 1 0 1 1 0 0 okay if you take first complement you will be get 0 1 0 0 1 1 and if you add it 1 you will be get 0 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 okay so you can see it's changed like that up to first one it will be same and then one change into 0 and 0 change into 1 this is the uh, shortest process to find the second complement method okay so up to first one from the right hand side you just uh, write down as it is then change 1 to 0 and 0 to 1 Okay. So, this is the second complement. Now, take an uh, example uh, before 1. We just write down here. That is 1101.101 and minus like that 11011. 11.11. So, at first you need to same two things. And second complement of this one, so 1101101 and second complement is 01 is same at is then change 1 into 0 and 0 into 1. Okay, and take addition that is 111, it is 1101101. So this is a carry, you just omit this carry, you will be get the answer that is 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 which already obtained in the previous one same result you will be obtain the same result using first complement method or second complement method if you reverse this uh, subtraction that is 1 1 0 1 1 0 and uh, this is 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 okay so if you take this second complement second complement you will be obtained that is 0 1 1 0 1 1 0 and this gives you 1 that is 1 0 uh, 0 1 0 0 and added these things 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 so no carry no carry <coughs> sorry since no carry you change into the second complement what will be the second complement first one is and this one change into zero and zero change into one so one one zero one one zero with a negative sign so this gives you the same result okay <coughs> so i think clear you about the first complement method and second complement method about the subtraction and the addition and multiplication you already obtained. Okay. So I think clear if there is any doubt, you must comment in the comment box. This is all about me and this is my contact detail. You can connect with this telegram channel and this is my YouTube channel details. Go to this channel, you will be get different free related videos on mathematics. Like this session, if you learn something from this session, share this video to your friends, either he or she also get benefit from the video. Subscribe this channel if you need this channel, those already subscribed, thanks for subscribing. Hit the bell icon to get notification of upcoming video. So take care, we'll meet in the next video as soon as possible. Thank you.